Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to be evaluating this integral using the integration by parts. The integration by parts formula is u times v minus the integral of v times du. This is our u, and this is our dv. u is equal to pi minus x du is equal to the derivative of pi minus x. Pi is not included, so the derivative of x is 1. So this is written as minus dx. And then dv is equal to cosine pi x dx. And then v is equal to the antiderivative of cosine pi x. So we use u substitution for this. So cosine u dx u is equal to pi x and then du is equal to, put pi on the side, derivative of x is 1, so pi dx isolate dx, divide both sides by pi dx is equal to du divided by pi. Now substitute for dx. Cosine u times du divided by pi. Now the antiderivative of cosine is sine. Sine substitute for u, so pi x and divided by pi. So our v is sine pi x divided by pi. Now we can plug these into our integration by parts formula. So pi minus x times sine pi x divided by pi minus the integral of sine pi x divided by pi times du, so minus dx, the pi and the minus sign can go out on the side, so this becomes pi minus x sine pi x divided by pi so this becomes a positive 1 over pi the integral of sine pi x dx to evaluate this integral we're going to use u substitution again so sine u dx u is equal to pi x du is equal to pi goes to the side the derivative of x is 1 so pi dx isolate dx divide both sides by pi dx is equal to du divided by pi. Now substitute for dx. Sine u du divided by pi. The antiderivative of sine is negative cosine. Substitute for u. Pi x divided by pi. So this is pi minus x times sine pi x divided by pi plus 1 over pi times 
minus cosine pi x divided by pi. Now multiply this out. We have pi minus x times sine pi x divided by pi. So this becomes minus 1 over pi squared, pi times pi is pi squared, and then cosine pi x. So this is the answer. Oh, and don't forget the constant of integration at the end. This is how you evaluate this problem up here, using the integration by parts. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks.